I want us to take a look at something now called a conditional expression. The conditional expression can look very strange, but it's really kind of simple. And once again, it helps us be very clear about what we need to accomplish so that the compiler can create the best code possible. Now here's the format of a conditional expression. You have a test over here. This is the first expression. And this can be uh, an assignment, a test, uh, any number of things um, that make up a C expression that we've already talked about. Then you have a question mark. This is one of the characters of the conditional expression. The conditional expression makes is made up of a question mark and this colon over here. So here we have this evaluation that we do. If this evaluation comes out to be true or non-zero, remember uh, true is non-zero, uh, a zero result from this expression, no matter what this thing actually is, it could even be a function call. If the function call returns zero, then this would be false. This would be a false expression. If this expression is non-zero or true, then whatever is in this expression in between the question mark and the colon will be performed. It can be another function call, a, a number of statements, whatever. It's another C expression inside here. I put a little T there to show you that this is the true expression here. If this expression resolves to be zero or false, then this series of statements, this expression on the, the right-hand side of the colon is what gets executed. So here's an example down here. Uh, here's our assignment that we're going to do. So this is not really part of the conditional expression, vote equals. That's just an assignment when we're done. Here's our little test. This is this part right here, the expression, age is greater than or equal to 18. So we're checking this uh, person's age, and uh, our voting law is here. You have to be uh, 18 or over to vote. So we're looking to see if our age is greater than or equal to 18. If this resolves to be true, or a non-zero value, and the way this works, the value would be 18, uh, the result of this. So that's non-zero. That's true. Uh, we'll come here, and we'll do this part. This part of the expression, this value true, we've already set it way up in our program someplace uh, to be uh, whatever we consider to be true, and, and that's generally going to be one, uh, non-zero. This will be assigned into here. So this value true, however it's defined earlier in our program, will be put into the variable vote as its value. So you can see that if age is greater than or equal to 18, true will be put into vote. If age is not greater than or equal to 18, then the value of false. Whatever we have done with a pound define, see these are in all uppercase. Remember when we when we define constants, uh, we generally make them uppercase, so you can see this. It's not another variable. Uh, so true or false, probably one or zero if we define it properly, will be assigned over here into vote. And that's a conditional expression. It's the question mark and the colon, and we have a test, a true result, and a false result that makes up the whole part of a conditional expression. These can get very complicated, but they can be quite elegant if you learn how to code them properly. They just kind of come to you when you're starting to, to really get into some coding, and you have a condition like this, and you... you it, dawns on you that, well, this would be a perfect place for a conditional expression. You need the question mark and the colon, and we know how it works now, so now we're going to watch for places where we can use the conditional expression.